The second section was the circus section. It started off as circus, then it became black and white. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why it became black and white, to be honest. I think because I saw something that was black and white, but that David Bowie, I mean, that was definitely one of the inspiration. Because what I do is, um, in my mood board at home, I've got at my office at home, I've got this really big, giant board. And every time I see a picture that I like throughout the year or whatever, I stick it on my board. And that's kind of the beginning of the show. And then it's somehow things start coming together. Or I'll be in London and I'll go to the exhibition, the David Barry yeah. exhibition. And I was really impressed with the 3D elements in, in, in that exhibition. Uh, but also, you know, the whole, the outfits. And, you know, so this picture will be on my board. Then I will see an exhibition. And then it starts growing, you know. And then um, the videos that were supporting the show, the show um, I start making those videos. Um, and then uh, the other thing that we did, <clears throat> I don't know if you realized, uh, there was taped hair, you know, the quite graphic hair, the, mm. the um, it was also in the video. I, I, th that came from a shoot I did for Italian Vogue in, I think, when was it? Uh, it was early last year. That was this year, I think, wasn't it? So Yes, this year. It, we were in Hawaii, yeah. yeah. Um, basically, we, I had to do this, I, um, I was shooting a thing for Italian Vogue, it was swimwear. So I created these swimming caps. And with models, you can never color co the hair if you have really good models, right? <clears throat> so basically, um, I ended up um, taping this model's hair in a little swimming cap. And it looked really strong because I saw all these neon tape colors. And then, so then I started doing, I thought, okay, I can turn this into black and white. And that's how I got the graphicness for that. And then it became, okay, there's another, uh, let's see. I also take pictures of shop windows all the time. like. This is Salvages London, like earlier this year. It's there. And um, there's some other pictures. There's another hair mood board at the back. You see the diamante thing at the end? That was Bergdorf Goodman. So, I, you know, I just collect pictures. And I live, literally, I'm, I've got my phone. And I, wherever I am in the world, I travel all the time. I take pictures of everything. I kind of throw it together. And I think that's how the black and white thing happened. So, and then the eyeball man, also, I got that from a shoot. I don't know. This, this is a very small picture here. It's like very small hair. I love the eyeball man. Because so so we had to do a casting of some male models, which was really hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then I stuck an eyeball on the head. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it kind of all morphed into it. And then I started talking, you know, to the circus people. And I said I also wanted everything circular, the move, movement. I don't know if that really came off. Mm. But I wanted things to be circular because I, I kept thinking round right. with circus, mm. hence the round haircut. Yeah. So and then I was kind of, we were thinking of coloring the model's hair a different color, like maybe pastel. I said, no, it's got to stay black and white. Mm -hmm. So that it's, it's, you know, when you do these things, there's so many little things from different areas that, that come up. And then it somehow it all morphs into one. And that's why I'm very vicious. That's why I make my mood boards and we brought them over. Because this is how it starts. You know, these are all the ideas that we have. And a lot of them are inspired by photography because that's my passion. And then you start putting it together and it's, then it starts growing, and then it gets out of control. <laughs>